Welcome to a cinematic journey back to 1962, where the longest day unfolds, capturing the monumental events of D-Day during World War Roman II with a raw and unflinching lens. The film, directed by an ensemble of directors, stands as a testament to the collaborative effort required to bring Cornelius Ryan's book to life on the big screen. Now, let me ask you, when did you first experience the gripping narrative of The Longest Day? Or perhaps amidst the stellar cast featuring classic Hollywood icons, which actor left an indelible mark as your favorite? Before we delve into the nuances, share with us your most cherished memory or personal connection tied to this film. Whether it's a family tradition, a profound moment of reflection, or a chance encounter with the movie, we'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. But before we get to that, let's set the stage with some intriguing facts about The Longest Day. Did you know that despite its sprawling cast, John Wayne, playing the role of Lieutenant Colonel Benjamin Vandervoort, was paid less than many of his co-stars? Such nuggets of information add layers to the historical tapestry woven by this cinematic classic. As we explore the film's impactful portrayal of the Normandy landings, keep in mind the intricate details that make The Longest Day a timeless piece of storytelling. Your engagement with this piece of cinematic history is not just a viewing experience, but a connection to a pivotal moment in our shared past. Now back to you. What's your tale connected to The Longest Day? Share your thoughts and memories below, and let's keep the conversation alive. And remember, every story adds another layer to the enduring legacy of this remarkable film. The Longest Day, a war film from the early 1960s, featured remarkable details that added authenticity to its portrayal of the D-Day invasion. One standout fact is the use of dummy paratroopers, symbolized by Rupert, echoing a tactic employed by the Luftwaffe during the Battle for France. This tactic aimed to confuse and divert enemy forces. Interestingly, the film's producers went the extra mile to recreate gliders used in the invasion. Facing the unavailability of authentic gliders, Daryl F. Zena commissioned duplicates from the original manufacturer. For the realistic depiction of naval scenes, the filmmakers utilized 22 ships from the U.S. 6th Fleet during maneuvers off Corsica in 1961. Notably, the cameras strategically avoided capturing the area where the fleet's aircraft carrier was positioned, as no carriers were present in the actual D-Day invasion. This attention to detail showcased the filmmakers' commitment to accuracy. In summary, The Longest Day stands out not only for its star-studded cast and grouping narrative, but also for the meticulous efforts to recreate historical elements, such as the use of dummy paratroopers and the accurate representation of naval operations, adding depth and authenticity to this iconic war film. In The Longest Day, the filmmakers went to great lengths to capture historical accuracy. Notably, Donald Houston, portraying in RAF pilot, brought real-life experience to the role having served as a rear gunner and radio operator during WW2, participating in the D-Day operation on a Lancaster bomber. This commitment to authenticity extended to the production's resources. With 36 genuine landing craft and two actual German planes at their disposal, the filmmakers spared no effort in recreating the intensity of the D-Day invasion. These authentic elements added a layer of realism that resonated with audiences. Moreover, the film provides insight into military strategy. The narrative subtly underscores the crucial role of air superiority in ground operations. The mention of Adolf Hitler holding panzers in reserve, emphasizing the significance of control over the skies, aligns with the later lessons learned from the Ardennes offensive. In summary, The Longest Day stands as a testament to meticulous filmmaking, blending real experiences with tangible elements to create a gripping portrayal of a pivotal moment in history. Donald Houston's personal connection, coupled with authentic resources, elevates the film beyond mere entertainment, offering a glimpse into the challenges and strategies of the D-Day invasion. John Wayne, aged 54 during filming, faced skepticism for playing a paratrooper in The Longest Day. Charlton Heston, 38, was the initial choice. However, Wayne took on the role, proving critics wrong. The movie's military advisors were D-Day participants, offering first-hand insights. Notably, Pipe Major Leslie de Laspie played bagpipes during Lord Lovat's Commando Landing, a role actually performed by Bill Millen. These authentic details enhance the film's realism, making it a captivating portrayal of D-Day. Paul Anka's theme song for The Longest Day became more than just a cinematic soundtrack. It found a lasting place as the regimental march for the Canadian Airborne Regiment from 1968 to 1995. 
Beyond the silver screen, the movie's impact resonated in the real-world military, solidifying its place in history. The film's commitment to authenticity extended to its use of Rupert Paradummies. These sophisticated decoys in the movie surpassed the simplicity of their real-world counterparts in Operation Titanic. During the actual operation, Special Air Service soldiers jumped alongside basic dummies, employing recordings of battle noises to deceive the enemy. The film's portrayal, with more elaborate paradummies, showcases the meticulous efforts invested in bringing historical events to life on screen. Daryl F. Zanuck's commitment to the longest day faced financial constraints due to cost overruns on another film, Cleopatra. To stay within a fixed filming budget, Zanuck dug into his own pockets after exhausting the allocated funds. This financial challenge adds a layer of context to the movie's production, highlighting the determination to deliver an authentic and impactful portrayal despite adversities. In summary, The Longest Day transcended the confines of a 1962 war film, leaving a lasting mark. From becoming a military regiment's march to the intricate details of paradummies, the movie's influence extended well beyond the big screen, showcasing a commitment to historical accuracy that went above and beyond financial hurdles. Controversy arose in the casting choices for the film. John Wayne, aged 54, portrayed a paratrooper, doubling the age of Lieutenant Colonel Benjamin Vandevoort at the time. Robert Ryan, at 52, was notably older than General James M. Gavin. This age gap drew attention, sparking discussions about the portrayal's authenticity. The decision to cast significantly older actors in pivotal roles raised eyebrows, yet their performances managed to win over initial skepticism, proving that talent transcends age. The juxtaposition of the actors' ages against the characters they portrayed adds an intriguing layer to the portrayal of the D-Day events, showcasing a blend of artistic interpretation and historical fidelity in the film. As we wrap up this journey through the remarkable tapestry of The Longest Day's narrative, take a moment to gaze back at the cinematic masterpiece that intricately wove together tales of bravery, sacrifice, and humanity. Perhaps it's a film that resonated deeply within you, triggering emotions or memories that continue to linger. What was it about this epic portrayal of history that left an indelible mark on your thoughts? Was it the stellar performances, the gripping storytelling, or the poignant depiction of pivotal moments in World War II? Whether you found yourself immersed in the character's struggles or captivated by the sheer scale of the production, each viewer carries a unique perspective, a personal thread connecting them to this timeless cinematic gem. This is an invitation, an opportunity to share your reflections, your fondest recollections, or most stirring impressions of the longest day. Let your voice join in the symphony of perspectives, enriching the collective experience of this monumental film. Your insights hold the power to unravel new dimensions, sparking conversations and connections that traverse time and distance. So don't hesitate to dive into the depths of your memories and let us glimpse the tapestry woven by your thoughts. Thank you for indulging in this journey, for lending your thoughts and reflections. Your presence enriches this conversation, making it a tapestry of diverse viewpoints and cherished memories. Until we embark on another cinematic journey, remember stories we share often reflect the shades of our own lives.